Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as an original co-sponsor of Leader McCarthy's bill, uh, I have worked with uh, my colleague from Rhode Island, Mr. Langevin, on an amendment that further strengthens the language around three of H.R. 635's most important measures, while also providing several technical edits to the bill. First, uh, this amendment clarifies that the vulnerability disclosure policy required in H.R. 6735 applies to information systems throughout the department as selected by the DHS secretary. Vulnerabilities can exist in any electronic device or internet-enabled technology, and it is important for the secretary to take that into account. Second, uh, this amendment ensures that the policy created by the department to address security vulnerabilities will also clearly articulate the ways in which DHS will communicate with researchers and articulate that there is a process in place to mitigate or remediate these vulnerabilities. As the nation's leading civilian cybersecurity agency, it is of paramount importance that the department lead from the front and be an example of the good cyber hygiene practices promoted by H.R. 6735. Finally, uh, Mr. Chairman, this amendment clarifies the reports to Congress required by H.R. 6735. As we continue to improve on the authorities necessary for the Department to carry out its uh, cybersecurity mission, both throughout the government and at DHS, it is critical that clear lines of oversight are established to ensure the successful implementation of H.R. 6735. Uh, I'd again like to thank my colleague, Mr. Langevin, for his good work on this issue. Uh, and this amendment, and I uh, yield back. 